So one question that a lot of Boombeach players ask themselves is, what kind of prototype defense should I be making? And the thing is, the question you should be asking yourselves first is, why am I making this prototype defense? What will I be getting out of it? And is it worth it? I'm going to be covering that in today's video by giving you guys some set examples that hopefully will help you out in your choices. And then after that you can ask yourself what one I should be making. And maybe that's going to be something for another topic for another video. But if you guys like this video then make sure you suggest uh, a couple of topics that you want me to talk about in upcoming videos. So make sure you leave a comment about them. And be sure to smack that like button if you actually like what you're seeing. So with that in mind let's actually go over this base right here. So what we got ongoing here is a level 53 base with a headquarters level 20. We got a couple of boom cannons that are relatively nicely leveled up. We got a couple of shock launches which are about halfway point. We got a couple of rocket launches which are also nicely leveled up. Some cannons that are level 16, some of them are level 40. So in all row, this is a relatively nicely leveled up base. And this is definitely towards the end stage of the game. And in this particular scenario, you are going to be having a weapon lab level 5. And you have the ability to build yourself two prototype defenses. Because on headquarters level 5, I mean weapon lab level 5, you can actually build two of them. But still, half of the time, which is really funny, half of the time making a prototype defense simply is not worth it. Because you are not going to be gaining anything uh, significant out of it. Uh, the only reasons you really should be making a prototype defense is if you want to be doing better defensive wise. But then again, breaking that down, doing better defensive wise, comes down to are you going to be able to successfully defend? And if so, then you're only going to be getting a couple of diamonds extra. And how many times is this going to be happening that you're going to be doing well in defense just by one prototype defense or two of them? To break it down to you guys, it's actually quite expensive to build these prototype defenses. For instance, if you want to build a level 1, it's going to be costing you 6 prototype modules. If you want to build a level 2, it's going to be costing you 12. And if you want to build a level 3, then that's going to be costing you 80 prototype modules. 18. In this particular scenario, Arista Mian, which is my co-lead of my task force, actually built this damage amplifier in order to get further on Hammerman Strikes Back. Now, Hammerman Strikes Back is quite tough, um, and I'm not really sure whether or not he was in the ability to actually take it down. Um, but if you're not doing it for the emotional value behind it, as in, hey, yes, I took it down, getting that feeling of satisfaction, then it really is not worth it. Because if we head over to Hammerman Strikes Back, he's not really going to be giving you a whole lot of prototype defenses. And sure, you're going to be getting a little bit more of intel during uh, defenses. And you're going to be getting a couple of diamonds more. But that's going to be like 15 max or so. So in that perspective, if you don't do it just for that feeling for, hey, I want to beat Hammerman, then it really isn't worth it. And that brings me back to my point. Why would you be building one? I have a couple of... Um, ideas written down why you should be building a prototype defense and the first one is if you're going to be throwing pushing and you got some ice statues then it's definitely worth it if you're going to a thousand victory points it's pretty much mandatory at that point to have a couple of prototype uh, defenses at your base because otherwise you're going to be getting destroyed every single time i already noticed this that i get destroyed because i don't have any ice statues and no prototype modules at 800 victory point despite the fact that everything that I have is pretty much maxed out. So that's something you can definitely take into consideration. Another thing is that you're going to be able to do better at Hammerman Strikes Back. But placing one prototype defense is not worth it if you're only going to be able to beat one or two stages. So be sure to bear that in mind. Um, if you're a very defensive player and uh, you mostly have green statues because there's players out there that have that, then it's definitely worth it to place one or two prototype defenses out there. Namely, the shield generator is going to be getting stronger the moment you got more ice statues. They're all going to be stronger, but the shield generator is going to be even more powerful with ice health statues. So be sure to take that into consideration. Um, another thing is, if you simply just don't care for saving up and you just feel like deploying them, then by all means go ahead and do it. But, you know, maybe in the future you're going to be needing it. So it's always okay to think long term when it comes down to prototype modules because resources are pretty scarce. And it took me three months or four months in order to gather these. And I know for a fact that if you start using them abusively much, then you're going to burn through them relatively quickly. 
Another reason is for personal goals. I already mentioned that before. If you're like, hey, I actually do want to beat that Hammerman stage level 6 or stage number 5 or maybe stage number 7, that by all means go right ahead and deploy them. And you're going to be getting a couple of more defensive wins out of it. And if you're scared that people are going to be attacking you, you can always deploy one or two of them in order to scare people away uh, to not attack you. For instance, if there's, there are some people out there that are specialized in warrior attacks and they cannot use anything else than warrior attacks. If you place a shoot generator, I can guarantee you that they're simply not going to be attacking your base. And that means you're going to be saving up some resources for the next upgrade. So that really breaks down why you should be saving up. Uh, your prototype defenses and why you should be using them really make sure to take into consideration why you should be using them or not because otherwise it's not going to be worth it um, the biggest reason why you of course want to be using prototype defenses is of course to win in defense but defense in boom beach is actually kind of a tricky uh, situation because uh, we're so dependent of prototype modules and if you're not able to uh, to get those modules back then you can see yourself losing quite a bit of defenses after that if you lose your prototype modules. That being said though, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you gained something out of this. Somewhat of a new format, just more of a talkative episode. If you make, if you do like this, make sure you suggest some topics I can talk about next. And that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure if you guys like this video, to boom, give it a thumbs up. And I think next time around, I'm going to be talking about why you should be using power powder and when you shouldn't. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.